Uh, he's a fan favorite. But you do have to honor the people for the right things, okay? So it's not about how many points that you score. It's not about how many rebounds that you get. Uh, it's not about how many steals you get, not about how many blocks you get. Not about even like who the best player on the team is, who the worst player on the team is. Because again, I don't care who the best player and who the worst player is. What I care about is who's getting better. If you're the hardest worker, that's all that matters. Don't be like Shaq and just say, well, I'm the best player there is on the team. It's like, no, it's not good enough. So what I like to measure is attendance. I care about you guys going to D1, you guys becoming the best players at your high school, you guys becoming pros. That's literally all that I care about. You becoming the best version of yourself that you can possibly be. And again, that's by showing up. So I'm gonna honor the people that showed up by giving you guys a little something extra. And we have Hunter Elliott. Give him a hand. <laughs> no. 5 right, great job. Wyatt Smith, give him a hand. Right, but you have done a great job. And I want you to keep going, right, and keep getting better, and keep improving. And wherever your ceiling is, I, I don't care where it is, reach it. Joey Massa. Right, up against it because he will forever probably be the smallest guy, guy on the court. But who cares? And from where he started, just barely trying to do our like summer camp, to like, I want to play against sixth graders now. That's been a mental change that has, like, it's had ra huge ramifications on our entire program. And it's amazing. That All right, he's a fan favorite. Then we have 132 with Romello Ashley. Oh, yeah. Mello! What's up, Mello? All right. <laughs> so, all right, so also undersized. He's our most mature kid in our entire program. And to say that about a fourth grader is insane. For the fourth place person is Declan Louth. Yeah! He has just changed from being the, um, the crazy kid to being a kid who like, no, a kid who's actually focused too. And I think that that's very hard for some people to like, to like do both of those things. And not only is he a rebel and things like that, but he's also smart. But now lately, he's starting to use his smarts on the court as well. And I think it's because he had to go from being the first grader playing with fourth graders to now being the third grader playing against fourth graders. <laughs> Next one is Kiernan Lau with 165.5. Right. Now, we all know Kiernan because I can't say anything bad about Kiernan. Like, literally, it's really hard to say stuff bad about him. All right. um, but that's how you want to be. Uh, you want to be the person where people are like, just give me something to say bad about you. If you can find an adult that you can trust, listen to every single word that they say. And life will be so easy for you. School was, socially, basketball was. I assure you, almost every parent in the world who's trustworthy um, can lead you to amazing heights. And, it's, and out of all your skills, you're quick. Great focus. I love your focus. But you, li your listening ability is off the charts. So, fantastic job. Noah Massett, give him a hand. Uh, Alright, so no Noah is still, for like the third year running, our grittiest kid and our toughest kid. You can say whatever you want about his crazy head, but his body and his spirit is bar none. Amazing. And I think now he's finally starting to understand that maybe he's not an NBA player. And he still decided to work hard. That takes a level of maturity that is exactly what it will take for him to become an NBA player. You have to be told that, that you have no chance. And if, then if you still try your hardest, that's when you have a chance. And the number one guy this, this year is Teo Trujillo! <laughs> All right. Again, I always bring it up because, dude, like, he wasn't supposed to be good. And he just decided, like, no, I'm gonna be great. And he just keeps coming, keeps coming, keeps coming. He has, a, he has a hard head in a good way. I, I love his personality because he doesn't have bad days. He brings it every single time. He doesn't have off days. He, he, he just goes, just shows up to work and just keeps coming. And that kind of mentality is it's called blue collar and I love it. You did an amazing job this year. Everyone give him a hand. Good job. That's life. Whether you're here or here, all that matters it's what's in here and how much time that you're willing to put into something. I don't care if you're the worst at it or the best at it or in between. If you're willing to work your butt off to achieve it, that's what matters.